Hello and welcome to week 31 of my Healthy Happy Pregnancy series. I'm Amber from Love Fit and She and yes, for those of you who are new to joining the series, um, I am now well into my third trimester and am going through week by week giving you an update of how I'm doing and lots of ideas to try and help you have the best possible pregnancy and then hopefully delivery at the end. Um, so yeah, I'm still feeling really good. Um, I have a midwife appointment later today, so hopefully all will be good at that. Baby is growing nicely, kicking lots, so yeah, happy days. But today I just wanted to make um, a little video to talk about positions um, that you should sit in to try and start encouraging the baby into an optimum position. Now at 31 weeks, it's a little bit early, you know, the baby's not necessarily gonna settle into a position this early on, probably not until after the sort of 34 week mark. Obviously, every body, every baby is different, um, but like a lot of the things I've spoken about, there's no harm in getting into good habits early on. Um, so rather than waiting until you're right in those last few weeks of pregnancy, it's a good idea now to start thinking about some positions you can relax in um, or just sit in for a few minutes a day that are going to help encourage the baby into that optimum position with the head down um, and obviously, yeah, it, with their back here so that they're in the optimum position for engagement rather than encouraging them towards the back um, and having spine to spine delivery, which is, is gonna be a little less comfortable. So I, what we really want is to make sure that when you're sitting down, that you're not always just sitting with your, yourself slumped back. So if you're sitting in a chair, for example, on the sofa, you might find you're just kind of sitting in this type of position, or even if you've got your feet flat on the floor, that you're kind of just leaning back. And what this does is this, closes the angle down the back. It's one of the reasons um, why giving birth on your back is really not um, an optimum position, but more on that later. Um, but it also, again, it encourages the baby towards the back of the pelvis rather than towards the front. So what we want is to try and ensure that at least for some of the time every day, we're sitting nice and tall. Now, a lot of people actually struggle with sitting upright and what can really help is to get a cushion or you can use a yoga block, they're not very thick, or just roll a, a blanket and pop that under your hips. But literally then you just want to sit on the very edge of the cushion and that will tilt you forwards. You can see that's just making my hips slightly higher than my knees. Okay, so that is a great position to sit in. So I'm going to actually sit on that now. And just coming into a really comfortable um, open cross leg position and trying to just let the knees flop down. So if you do, um, are practicing say your pelvic floor exercises or you sit and do a little bit of meditation or visualization or even just having a few moments of calm in your day, this is a great position to sit in. Um, now, you can't see massively well, but my knees are pretty close to the floor. But if you have very stiff hips and your knees are up here, you might find that you want to pop something underneath. So put some pillows or cushions under there so that you've not got tension here. You just want to be able to let everything relax. Um, but even if you're doing some reading, if you're reading pregnancy books or if you're watching a little bit of television, try even for a few minutes to sit like this, um, just so that you're up, as I say, you're perched forwards with your hips slightly lifted and this encourages baby forwards. And it's a great, very comfortable position to sit in. So that's position one, just open cross-legged, always with this cushion or block or bolster or blanket just under the hips at the back. Second position, which really is a lovely stretch for the inner thigh, is to come and sit in what we call tailor pose. Um, so as you'll probably notice some of these are yoga moves. I've been doing um, a yoga pregnancy class based on active birth, um, which suits my style very well. But yeah, these are all positions that I've learned from them that have been really comfortable for me. So the second position is tailor pose. So you want the soles of your feet together and again, letting the knees drop out to the side. And again, if you can't get your knees close to the floor and it feels like quite a big strain, stick something under the knees to support them. And just sitting here and relaxing, lovely position, okay? The third one is then actually to go into a wide leg and that's gonna be different for everybody. Um, but yeah, you, you can't see my feet, but they're out to the side and just sitting like this. And this can be a really nice where, um, position to sit and just do some nice pelvic rolls. And you're gonna be limited by the size of your bump and your flexibility, but just circling here, you can twist round. And um, one thing our yoga teacher says is imagine you're stirring a huge cauldron of porridge. So just leaning round and then obviously going the other way, but that's great for just opening up the hips. And again, because I'm perched just on the edge, 
literally just sitting on the edge of my cushion it's keeping my hips lifted at the back and encouraging baby forwards and again this is not a bad position to just hang out in for a while you know we're not looking to develop you into a gymnast here you shouldn't be sitting for ages leaning forwards getting somebody to pull you it's just a lovely open hip position so that's your third position so normal cross-legged tailor pose with the soles of the feet together holding the ankles wide leg and then another really lovely position that I really like to sit in um, especially if I'm reading or meditating is actually to bolster yourself up on a couple of cushions or if you've got a low stool that works or roll up a big thick blanket but make a little wedge and then you want to put it long ways and then just sit on that with your knees straddling it so my bum's just sitting back on it my feet are tucked behind me and just sitting like this this raises the hips a bit more my knees are on the floor and that is a lovely comfortable position and just sitting here as I say you can read here relax here watch television here I'm not saying you have to hang out in these positions for hours but they're all good postures for just encouraging baby into their optimum position so start trying to do that a little bit every day to, you know, from now um, and as I say a great way of combining it with a bit of relaxation which you should be trying to do and pelvic floor exercises so any of those things combined with this position are going to you know kill two birds with one stone and leave you feeling really good so yeah get practicing those positions as your relaxation obviously one note to add is I'm not saying you can't ever just lounge on the sofa um, and if you do have any swelling of the ankles or fluid retention and um, touch wood thankfully I haven't had any of that yet um, but if you do suffer from that or if you've got varicose veins appearing then yes you do want to elevate your feet at some point to try and just get some venous return on the on the old um, calf muscles get the blood flowing back towards the heart but there's still no harm and in, indeed many positive benefits to trying to adopt this position um, from time to time okay so make sure you're sitting with the hips higher than the knees sit back and relax you want that lovely straight back and yeah spend some time hanging out here every day and hopefully get that baby into the right position thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon bye